Stop right. Active presenter number two. It is called the software or active presenter and number three. You record the software using this, the software itself. And then number four, to save the video on our computer. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump straight to our PC. Now, to start recording, we have to do the first step. The first step is to download, you open your, your active, you open your Google like this and then you type Active download active presenter as you can see here. Download active presenter now. When you write this, you see you are going to see download active presenter on our Windows and then the Mac. Those who have Mac, you can download on Mac. I have Windows, so I'm going to click on download on Windows. Good. If you look right down here, the active presenter is actually downloading. You give it some time for it to download and then move to the second step, the second step which is to install when we are done with the first step we go to the second step so the first step as you can see we are downloading already we are downloading the software our downloading is already completed and then we click from here to click here and then we go to the second step which says run and install we have to install it on our computers you have to follow this process if you actually want to record yourself and your activities and then you click on yes the installation will take place now and then you click on next after that you click on install as you are seeing the software is actually installing on our desktop this is the, the, the second step we have to install the software such that we can use the software to record our activities and to record our students and ourselves while we are teaching, while we are having meeting sessions. Don't be someone or one. Good. So when the software actually opens like this, this is what you are going to do. You are going to check the software on your desktop. Let's go to here yeah, and click on finish. When you click on finish, click the finish the software will actually open this is active presenter now you have active presenter on your desktop you go right here on the top left hand corner you are going to see record videos click on record videos when you click on record videos you see this app here you are going to see full screen here you are going to do customs this is that is if you want to record the entire screen you click here if you want to record just a portion of your screen, you click here and then you drag. You can click here and then you drag like this. You can click and then you actually drag, drag it. Now let's say I want to record just this part, right? Click and then you drag and then you open. You can open it anyhow you want to. You can actually do it like this. Let's do record your screen. This is how you do it. This is so when you click here, it's actually going to record just this part. Now, number three, as we, we are going this way, if you look right here, this is webcam. My webcam is on. If you want to start recording yourself and your activities, make sure your webcam is on. This is preview, that is after you have uh, recorded yourself, you want to watch, you can still watch it here. And then, also enable your audio so that your sound could be good. And the volume, as you can see, this is my volume as I'm speaking. And then when you, you are done with all, you click on record. When you are ready, you see it's going to record. You start recording. Active presenter is recording now. So whatever activity or whatever you are doing on your desktop, it is actually recording. Like here, if I want to start presenting, 
as I'm presenting my activities, as you can see, it is recording. Yes, the video is actually recording. It is actually recording. So we are actually on the third step, which says we have to record. We are recording our screen using the software called Active Presenter. Yes. So after we are, we are done with our presentations, let's assume we are done with our presentations, we have to stop recording. To stop the recording, you just click right down, you come right down, you are going to see this icon. This is the icon called Active Presenter. You click on the icon and then you click on this one. It says stop recording. You stop recording, then the app will open like this again. As you can see, the app is actually going to open. For you to see your video. Yes, this is me. So if you want to leave your video open like this, you can leave it. If you want to minimize it, you can minimize it. If you want to take it anywhere, you can take it. If you want to do it like this, you can put your video recordings anywhere. Yes, this is me. I can put my own here. I can put it here. Wherever you want to, wherever you choose to. Let me put this one here. And then you come here and then you, you say play, preview. Mm -hmm. And that is recording as whatever activity so, or whatever you are doing on your desktop, it is actually recording. And here, if I want to start presenting, as I'm presenting my activities, as you can see, it is recording. Yes, the video is actually recording. It is actually so we are actually on the third step, which says we have to record. We are recording our screen using the software called Active Presenter. Yes. So after we are, we are done with our presentations, let's assume we are done with our presentations, we have to stop recording. To stop the recording, you just click right now, you can write that you are going to see this icon. This is the icon for Active Presenter. You click on the icon and then click on this one. Cool. Actually, we, we are done with our, our presentation and recording. So, if you want to save the video, which is the first step, the last step, we are going to click on export. Now, when you click on export, you come right here where you see video export and click on videos. Cool. The, the, the browser will open like this. You come here on browse, you click on browse. We are clicking on browse just because you want to see the video ask you where do you want to save your video the app the software is going to ask you where you want to save let's say i want to save it on my video and then you give the video a title let's say um active presenter test one video Good. You select, you click on save and click here don't forget to click ok when you click on ok don't forget we are doing the step we are trying to download uh, active presenter on our computer it's so that we can record our activities we can record ourselves while we are teaching our students to show our bosses that we are actually doing the online thing so this video is very important for everybody all the teachers the, the, the managers the uh, artists CEOs, everybody, this is very important video. You just click here and then watch the steps and follow. Download the app Active Presenter. It is free. It is free. That's a free uh, software. You download and install it on your desktop. So you can use it to record whatever activity you are doing at home, whatever you are doing, your movies, you are, you are editing your videos, you are teaching your students online, you are doing any activity. You can actually use this very uh, software to to teach vocabularies or use flashcards now we are done with our export if you come here right here you see exported successfully so you click on yes the, the software is going to take you to where you actually save your video so let's watch our video this is our video let's watch our video and see. this is the video so we are done with our saving of our video this is how you use active presenter to actually record yourself and activities, whatever you are doing, this is how you use the presenter with your video one of one. Please, if you have learned something from this video, which I know you did, give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscription button, 
don't forget to hit the notification button so that you see every content that I'm going to upload. New content. If you have any suggestions on what you want me to do next, just write me in my comment section. Like, share, encourage. Share this video to go viral because some people are actually lacking somewhere. So when you share, you are giving. Don't forget, we have to help each other. Thank you very much and see you next time in my subsequent